What's up guys, it's Kichter. While I would love to scream my absolute face off over this chapter, I am super sick. I got tested and it is not human face disease. So I'm gonna read the chapter carefully. First things first, you'll notice we have this new cover here. We've got this little lamb and wolf thing going on here. Starmber drew this for Hua Chung's birthday. Here's what the full picture looks like. It's gorgeous. We're back at Paradise Manor, which is where Hua Chung lives. Enchanting singing. Got these lanterns, very ornate area and here are those beautiful dancing ladies again and we know that hand watch hung building the foil little castle look at him sitting there like a <laughs> who sits like that with your leg up come on sir come on oh god since you're already here why haven't you come in that went right through me that went right through me. He's looking out. Look, he's got all his dancing women in front of him that he's not even sparing a second glance to. Silence. Smile. Biceps. He pushes the tower over. All the pieces falling. Armpit shot. <laughs> Takes a step with his cute little feet. Oh, look at him. Oh, I like this outfit. Gosh, it's so like casual. It's like he's just casually lounging about at home in a tank top. Look at him. Like you can't even see his face, but those long legs. Oh my God. Why is this such an attractive shot? God, there's something wrong with me. Julian's here. Can't see his expression. Gaga, come in and have a seat. Look at him. Oh my God, he is so tall. With everything they've been through, it's like there's the nervousness of two people that like each other and they aren't really close yet, but there's not the nervousness of someone you're afraid of. Even though Hua Chung is someone that pretty much everyone is afraid of. And I think that's neat. Gaga, are you not coming in because you've grown distant with me in just a few days? Oh, San Long. He says that, but deep down he probably is a little insecure in that way. San Long was the one who pretended not to know me in the gambler's den earlier. Oh, they're having a little, little couple's little spat here, a little tease in each other. Sigh. He puts his arm on his shoulder. Lan Chen Cho was there as well. If I hadn't acted a little, I would have brought you trouble, Gaga. It was a pretty perfunctory act. Yeah, Shilian's like, oh yeah, definitely. Just pretend not to know me and then feel up my hands for Lan Chen Cho's sake. Yes. Look at him. He's got his arm right around him. And everyone's staring. Look at the women. They're like, who is Hua Chung touching? You can tell he never touches them from their reaction. I could just stare at this panel forever, seeing him touch Shilian so casually like this. Oh my god, it's delicious. Wave. Get out, I'm closing the door and locking it. Don't come in. I'm here with Gaga. Look how close they are. Oh my god, back to front. Sunlong. I'd like to ask a favor of you. Look at him, he's got a little little nose blush going on here. Is it about the bandaged boy that ran away in front of Paradise Manor just now? Sunlong knows everything. Oh my god, okay, look how he's sitting. He's got he's got his hand on his lap. If this isn't like a, a come hither motion, look at him. That is an invitation to go sit on that lap if I've ever seen it. Oh my god. Close your legs, you I love him. I'm in love with him. Also, look how high his, like, pony bun is. Goodness gracious. Shilian clutching his hand in a horny grip with every last ounce of self-restraint he has. I've already sent someone to find him. They'll report to me soon. So please wait, Gaga. Ah, then thank you again. Look at Shilian, so relieved. Hua Chung knows what's up. It's nothing. Now this, I actually want to point out, is something. Hua Chung isn't one to meddle, right? He doesn't get in people's affairs. But because he knows it's important to Shilian, he got it taken care of. Look at him, look how cute in his pointy little ear. Come, sit here. Does he mean his lap? Is he tapping his lap? Light tap? On his lap? No, it must be the couch. Though, did Gaga just leave Lang Chencho behind? He's like, oh my god, did you ditch your heavenly official friends for me? I'm in. Look at him, look how close they are. I am obsessed with how close they are. Looks like they're about to Netflix and chill and forget to turn on the movie. Shilian sits down. His Highness Tai Hua caused you trouble at the gambler's den earlier. It's his nature to stop that kind of gambling when he sees it. That's why he rushed in. Hmm, <laughs> look at him. What do you mean? Look at Sun Long, he's so confident. Also, they are like, that is a very big couch and they're sitting right pressed up against each other. I love them. Like, it's obvious they like each other. Obviously you're gonna sit close to your crush. I just love that they did it. Like, look how big this couch is and they are like an inch away from being on top of each other. Also, Shilian tucking his hair behind his ear, like a little self-conscious touch up. Could they be any more obvious? He wasn't troublesome at all. He's just inexperienced. Ugh. 
sexy. Experienced Hua Chung, sexy. Look at his earring, sexy. Everything about this, sexy. Between letting yourself live for 10 more years and shortening your enemy's life by 10 years, choosing the latter is human hatred. Hmm. Sun Long. I may be overstepping, but let me say this. Your gambler's den is dangerous. It's fine if there are small fights, but if something severe happens in the future, heaven won't just sit by and watch. Smile. Your Highness, as you can see, to the three realms, my ghost city is a corruption-ridden hell where demons dance. Those heavenly officials pretend to reject and look down upon this place, but they secretly come here and commit unspeakable deeds. If I don't take the reins here, someone else will. So, instead of letting just anyone have control of this place, I've taken responsibility. Dot dot dot. Clenched fist of righteousness. Jingle. My lord, I found the bandaged boy. Okay, that was some really good plot, so I wanted to read all the way through it, but that is so hot. Not only does Hua Chung just look hot in these panels, but the fact that he's literally like, I'm so sorry, but the people you look up to are actually worse than the demons in this hellhole. I'm in charge because, yeah, I might be a little corrupt, but I'm better than any of them, and I'm not letting anyone else run this place. So it's like Hua Chung even has power over heaven by ruling over Ghost City. Not to the general public, but the unspoken rules. That's why heaven is so afraid of him, because he rules the place that the corrupt heavenly officials even like to go. This is just so sexy of him. He is the boss, boss, boss. And we have seen such a soft, childish side of him. The side of him that's in love and has such good morals and values from Xilian from when he was a kid. He clearly tolerates a lot of corruption, but it's better than the alternative. A big theme in this book is the moral grayness of society and that nothing truly is black or white white. Also, for the first time ever, we have official Yin Yu in the Manhua art. He's got the mask on, he's got a little scarf thing over his shoulders. Yin Yu is definitely a favorite amongst the fandom, so it's really cool that we got to see his design finally. So, let me know what you guys thought of this chapter. I thought this was a, it's a good chapter. You know, you see Hualien really close again together. It's the first time we've seen them together in such a long time. And it also goes to show the trust that Hua Chung has in Xilian to be able to, you know, spell such a difficult pill to swallow out to him. You also get to see how much Xilian cares for Hua Chung without trying to change him. You see, he doesn't tell him to stop running the gambler's den. He just says that he's worried something might happen to him if heaven finds out about it, which is very different. If you guys would like to read this chapter yourself, you can click the link down below and read it on Billy Billy Comics. And if you guys would like to help support my channel, you can check out my merch store. I've got some Red String of Fate shirts. You can also check out my YouTube membership where we have monthly members only live streams, behind the scenes, bloopers, and more. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully next time my voice will be back and I can scream over Hua Chung's everything. <laughs> Thanks for sticking through this with me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.